Hey guys, what's up? Heather here, and I do have another DIY candy making kit video for you guys today. Now this one is a little more um, silly, I would have to say, because yes, this is a do-it-yourself squid and octopus shaped candy kit. So you're wondering, who would want to eat octopus candy? Well, obviously I do. So here's what the packaging looks like. I'm interested to see how these taste. Um, I can kind of feel it in there. It's probably going to be like a sweet, chewy candy. But yeah, let's get started. All right, so the packaging is really cute, and I'm just going to open this from the bottom again. And we'll see what all is inside. There's not a whole lot to these little simple kits, but here is what I'm assuming is the jelly candy and here's little molds oh they're so cute so i'm gonna take these apart get my little plunger thing ready i guess this is how we're gonna make the tentacles pretty cool pretty cool and these look really super gross but yeah so i guess i'm gonna start doing some play-doh action going on here that's totally what this is reminding me of and squeeze some of this super sticky candy out and just kind of mold it I guess to where it'll fit in one of these little mold thingies. Guess we'll make the little octopus first. Cool, cool. Oh and these are really hard to get out like especially if like the candy gets warm. It yeah is getting all messed up. So time to make the tentacles just going to do the same thing and pop this into the plunger and use all my might to squeeze these out. And this is pretty cool. This is total, absolute Play-Doh action right here. Oh, and I don't want to mess these up. So, yep, stick some legs on. Oh, that one came out really cute. Look at that one. So, let's get started on the squid this really beautiful ugly blue gray uh, I don't know what color but we're just gonna stick that in the mold again see what happens it's getting like too warm try to clean my hands off because they're getting all sticky yep this one came out all funky looking look at so derpy Let's just make these legs for him and call it a day. This looks a little dirty from the previous color candy, but whatever. We'll just stick it in there and squeeze out some legs. Yep. Oh, these are not coming out right. Oh, no. The derpy squid. Look at that. It's like claw legs. Oh well. You know what? It's just going to have to do. That is just going to have to do. Well, there you have it. Here is my sad mess of some candy. Yep. So I definitely thought that the mochi kit was pretty messy but then after making this one this one was definitely very sticky now here is the finished product dun da da dun let's see if I can get that in focus no is it not focusing there we go so you can see how beautiful my squid came out a little bit derpy uh, my octopus looks cute though now these do have a very fruity scent, so they're definitely fruity. I might have eaten a little piece of the tail there off the squid, but yeah, let's test these little guys out. Let's go for the derpy squid. What do you think? Oh, he just keeps getting even more. I don't know if it's because my hands are warm that they're just like melting, but... Mm. It was very, very fruity. Very sweet and sugary. A little tart. I would have to say that I wouldn't normally eat this. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little DIY candy making kit. I may order some more different candy making kits. I think they're pretty fun. Um, and they're definitely fun to eat. But yeah, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've tried any of the DIY candy making kits because I really do think they're pretty fun. But yeah, I will catch you all later. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>